Welcome everybody for uh, NDN tutorial. So uh, this time we're going to be doing this uh, NDN practical application development and seamless de uh, deployment tutorial. Uh, we have a large team uh, of presenters today uh, and the main goal that we have, I mean, we have a multiple goals today is just to have a very brief introduction of NDN and uh, available libraries, available tools. And on top of that, uh, we want to just go into um, high-level API models, just introduce the high-level API models to showcase uh, high-level uh, use of high-level APIs in the models. And uh, the other part that not mentioned on the slide is uh, use of um, uh, use of uh, seamless de uh, deployment of the applications. Uh, so first, a very brief introduction of uh, named data networking. Uh, as I said, the, the NDN in a nutshell is the uh, ability to request a specific piece of data at the networking level uh, using a name. And the name uh, can kind of be, can represent many different things. So basically everything can be named and everything can be represented as a, 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 sing, a single data packet or a chunk, uh, multiple data packets or a stream of the data packets. And on the slide, I'm simply showing a few examples. Uh, it can be like a file, a fixed file, or chunk of the file, a chunk of the video of, the, of some stream, uh, as well as some kind of command, the road service data, personal health, and, and so forth. Uh, the important part, the uh, kind of oh, interesting part of Indian uh, naming is that name is being used for multiple levels. So it's basically used by the application, uh, by the transport, by the networking, so, uh, and potentially at the link layer as well. So you don't really need any port numbers because everything captured in there. And another part, another crucial part of uh, NDN is uh, kind of the data self-containment. Basically, the data contains the actual content being uh, communicated, as well as the additional information is specifically for, for uh, uh, ability to authenticate the data uh, efficiently. So that you have a data, you know that this data wasn't tampered with and you can get it uh, and you can uh, uh, authenticate this data using trust schema, for example. Okay, so and uh, so that was the two basic things, the structured naming and the secure data directly, but yet there is another piece of the puzzle, uh, which is uh, stateful forwarding uh, stateful forward in place because this one is actually kind of binding these two components and uh, allowing them a lot of lot of different things that most of you already know but just to reiterate a few is uh, kind of uh, uh, having a closed feedback loop so you can do uh, various kinds of measurements uh, detect failures potentially prevent the DDoS attacks and so forth and so on uh, or as well as the kind of creating the multicast capabilities and other stuff uh, doing multi-path forwarding again we don't because of the stateful forwarding plane you don't care about where you send in packet uh, and, and so forth and finally, uh, you can do buff, uh, kind of, uh, the data structures of uh, stateful forwarding, uh, provide buffering for the, uh, for the data uh, in the form of CS or interest in the form of PIT. And you can actually um, do a lot of things natively, uh, just, uh, kind of communicating uh, over lossy or challenging networking environment. Okay, so that uh, was a very, very brief introduction. I hope I didn't bore you too much. Uh, so just to have a few highlights. So if we just jump in a little bit on a high, higher level. So basically in the end, uh, with all those uh, three elements, we have uh, naming secure data directly, as well as um, a stateful forwarding is a natural fit for uh, pops up models. So meaning uh, you don't actually have to like the both ends of the communication, the consumer producer, uh, they don't have to be at the same time. Uh, so for example, uh, whenever something available for publishing or like data being created, it can be just published. Uh, and being is kind of published locally, published in some uh, repository somewhere. But again, the data is now available and can be requested. And at the same time, uh, whenever somebody is getting connectivity, uh, he can simply kind of send this uh, interest uh, to, to place that will accept this interest and maybe carry it around for some time. 
and we'll eventually get the data back. So this is a very simplistic model for a simplistic way of doing this pops up in, in terms of the individual data packets. Uh, but uh, in, um, in the future talk, uh, Lam and others will be talking about uh, how you can implement pops up in a little bit more uh, kind of systematic way when you don't need to deal with individual packets, but rather uh, of just on the concept of you subscribing to each set of the events and uh, kind of getting uh, back data. Uh, another part is, uh, kind of, again, natural fit for uh, various types of ad hoc communication. And this will be yet another talk that uh, will be introduced later uh, for the high-level APIs. Uh, so in here, again, I'm, I'm just giving you a few very high-level examples. So you can do in vehicle environments uh, where you can either have only cars or cars in infrastructure. And basically what the kind of the crucial part in all of these cases is the name and plus state authority. But uh, what happening, uh, what's happening is that the name uh, actually can express various application uh, logic, uh, uh, kind of application semantics, and it can be leveraged by the forwarding plane or in a maybe lower, uh, lower uh, layer, layer planes to actually efficiently deliver this uh, interest uh, towards the potential source of the data, like in either using the location, uh, using kind of logical location inside the house or kind of literal location, uh, in geographical location like in, in disaster recovery or some uh, other application semantics for like NP chat uh, case. Uh, that's uh, what the kind of the goal of, for the talk today is basically have a very, uh, very brief overview of the libraries and specifically focus on uh, higher level API libraries. Uh, we're going to be talking more uh, in detail, uh, but uh, just to highlight uh, the idea of behind the uh, high level APIs is not to deal with individual packets, like individual interests, but rather go uh, away higher. So this is what the um, kind of um, putting here, uh, kind of writing the application using the uh, kind of thinking about the data packets or interest packets is very, very kind of rudimentary. It's possible with many of the libraries available, but it's really hard because uh, you're going to be basically reinventing a lot of wheels and doing something that may not be necessary. Uh, but what you want to do with the, within the application, you want to uh, define kind of what is the higher level goal for the application. Uh, how you're gonna kind of on a high level again, uh, how you bootstrap the trust, like I did pre configured, what kind of the trust policy you're gonna be using, uh, like how you're gonna be authenticating. So, this is the trust schema talk. Uh, unfortunately, not, uh, we're gonna touch a little bit briefly. Uh, a lot of things is about the namespace management. Uh, we kept emphasizing that in NDN, and I already show a few examples, uh, that we have a lot of, lot of things about the name. So, but we want, when you write the NDN application, you don't actually want to do it in very ad hoc manner. Like you just, you have to assign this name, you construct this name. You want to do something way more automated. And this is like be another uh, two talks uh, that are gonna be talking about the common name library or like CNL, uh, where we are gonna be actually doing some processing or like building API and structures. So you, your application doesn't actually have to worry too much about uh, about namespaces, like you define again higher level logic under which prefix, under what uh, kind of streams available, and then uh, just defining what you want to do with that. And uh, finally, I already emphasized this a little bit, uh, but you don't want to really uh, deal with individual packets, but rather either work on this with the streams, you work with the topics, uh, large objects, maybe files, maybe something else. Uh, and uh, in addition to that, you don't also, um, when you concept of publishing, you don't really always want to keep something in memory or like write uh, some logic to always write something to disk, but rather define the policy that when it, whenever you publish, it will go to some remote storage repo or go somewhere else, upload it and, and so forth. So these are basically high level goals that we're trying to um, kind of keep in mind when we're talking um, uh, when we give uh, further presentations today, but to just skip the uh, namespace management and publish subscribe as a kind of high level concept. Uh, another part that the, of the talk is the principles of uh, deployment uh, of NDN applications. Uh, NDN is quite different from tradi traditional IP infrastructure, so therefore uh, a few uh, differences, uh, a few in, in the big, big, big quotes. 
Uh, so uh, uh, Hunter will be giving a very interesting talk on for what exactly is Indian config when we talk in a, when we say in this word, and what you need to do to actually bring your application like a drop into the network and so that uh, in various types of uh, kind of networks, with being the edge deployment network or a pure Indian deployment network, uh, and drop the application and make it work. So stay tuned. Uh, there will be a quite interesting topic there, and. Uh, Finally, uh, this is a very small thing. Uh, if you still don't know uh, name data website that has a tons of different resources. Uh, so one thing that I would just want to emphasize, we have a lot of a lot of uh, different tutorials and this tutorial will also be available there. Uh, we have kind of various news uh, about things happen that are happening. Plus, there's a lot of links to uh, source code that you can play with, uh, you can contribute and can, uh, do anything that you would like with that. Uh, so with that, uh, let me just briefly, uh, I mean, this kind of the rest of the program, uh, it's already published on the website. Uh, I'm just uh, kind of want to emphasize that we're going to talk about the pops up. Uh, uh, we're going to be talking about uh, kind of namespace uh, driven uh, application development. And afterwards, we'll just uh, have a few uh, kind of driving uh, applications uh, plus uh, this uh, auto um, Kind of what is Indian config and uh, what is plug and play in Indian. Uh, 